Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This is episode 2. Last time we got very familiar with the world of Taris after crash landing from our escape pod launching from the Endar Spire. So we're on the hunt for Bastila. Uh, we've got our we've got our boy Karth over here and uh, we, yeah, we ended last episode talking to our uh, lovely esteemed gentleman Zax the Hutt over here. Uh, our bounty info broker, essentially. So it was uh, really cool to just step into a new era of Star Wars for the for the very first for the very first time, and we're going to continue getting to know the the sort of the lower city uh, types. We're going to go to the back hideout, deal with the uh, deal with the black Volcars, I think that they were called black Volcars, um, and then. We need to follow our, you know, follow the leads of figuring out where these escape pods um, are at, because they, the gang, the other gang got to them first. I think if we have a look, just trying to think of what we've got here, because we've got a bunch of bounties to deal with. Um, we'll, fi we'll, fi we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, but we have a had an interesting. Uh, brief encounter with a bounty hunter as well um, that just counts to one two three and then he'll kill you <laughs> as the bodies are still littered on the floor of the cantina over here and then he left before we had a chance to speak to him but we're gonna this game war's getting out of hand yeah the Volcars, black Volcars. just attack you the hidden becks and the hidden becks they go after everyone so we're just gonna like check out the cantina lovely way to start get re-familiarize myself with uh, with what we're doing and then we'll head out to the to the hideout this is cool oh yeah and obviously we did the most you know we did the you know the, the most intense side quest of all time which is when we helped a dancer get hired so that was sick <laughs> huh what oh sorry I didn't see you there my attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers look at them waggle those head tails I don't normally go for these alien girls man's horny had some bad in the Star Wars cantina species lately <laughs> Maybe it's time for a change. Know what I mean? Thinking of, uh, thinking of extending my interests to the Twi'lek dancers. You're the guy who put the bounty on Dia's head, right? You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done, I can't let her get away with what she did. That wench tried to cut me with her vibro blade. Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. Hey, you weren't there. She totally overreacted. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. If you hire someone to kill Dia, it'll look like you weren't man enough to do it yourself. <laughs> Persuade. <laughs> And that'll get him to lift the bounty. I hope this is a successful thing, because I ain't paying. I ain't paying for a stranger, you know? I'm not, I'm not doing it. Um, I'm playing another game at the moment where there's a character called Danik. So having someone in this game called Davik, I almost was like feeling like I was mixing it up and I was about to call someone like Davik before, but I was like, am I getting confused? <laughs> if I let her get Damn away it. with it, I'll look even worse. She's got to pay. Either with a life, or 200 credits to buy my forgiveness. Take that bounty off Dia's head or you're a dead man. Yeah, that's persuasive. Are we going to do a fight in a cantina right now? Hmm. That persuasion failure sucked. Alright, I'm going to intimidate. You're threatening me? I work for Davik Kang. If you kill me, you'll be signing your own death warrant. Do us both a favor and don't waste my time with stupid threats. Damn it. Alright, maybe I'll just level up my persuasion and we'll, we'll get it. Fine by me. 
That means I get to go back to enjoying the dancing girls. Okay, buddy. Journal entry added. Uh, let's take a look. Deer's bounty. Holden has agreed to remove the bounty from Deer's head in exchange for enough credits to soothe his stinging pride. Okay. Don't bother me while I'm working. I get paid to dance, not to talk. This musician is too busy playing to pay any attention to you. Bith going hard on those instruments, dude. Look at that synchronized dancing they got going on there. Can I talk to these guys in the... Nope. No dialogue. Um, no dialogue on these guys. I believe they're called Nikto. I think that's the species of, of those dudes. Oh! That's a Wookiee. That's a Wookiee. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. <laughs> little girl should not be in bar. This no place for little girl. If little girl's smart, she run away home now. Who you call a little girl, tuba face? <laughs> little girl needs lesson in manners. Just a sec, boys. Sawbar, a little help here? I saw the name briefly pop up on the screen. <laughs> yes. Mission, I'm busy. They just brought my food. Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. <sighs> Come on, Wookie, rip some arms off. We want no trouble with Wookie. Our problem with you, little girl. Too late, bud. Too late. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. With Big so Z. Unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Chubasa! Little girl lucky she has big friend. Are these going to end up being our two companions in the party? Where's our party menu? Where are we at? Uh, can I not? Party selection. There we go. This is a Twi'lek. And that looks like it's going to be the silhouette of a Wookiee. Yeah, I saw Zalba pop up briefly, so as soon as he was like, Hey, can you come over here? <laughs> yes, what's on your mind? No, I'm not trying to talk to you. You got it. You got it. I'm trying to talk to this guy. No, he's got nothing to say. He's just leaving. Dude, Zalba and Mission. Your name is Mission. Curious. <laughs> Why are you bothering me? We understand Wookiee, dude. We understand Wookie, that's amazing. Big Z, no need to be rude. Sorry about that. But Wookiees ain't much for conversation, you know? <laughs> that is so cool. Say, I don't recognize you and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. Ah, Galactic Basic, yeah. Hey, we speak the same language. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic, they just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... How do a Wookiee and a Twilight Street urchin end up as best friends? <laughs> we just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. That's a great tag team, I love it. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. That's the one. Kalo Nord is the bounty hunter that we came in contact with. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations. The Ebon Hawk. The I don't Ebon know much Hawk. about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would okay. we go? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there. Except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. Okay, so I see, I see how uh, how we're getting off this planet. So we need to deal with, we need to find Bastila, deal with Davik, get the Ebon Hawk, uh, get the Sith codes from the Sith base, and get out, get past this blockade. 
That's so sick. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the lower city. The Black Bulkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Thek. He's a good guy. Gadden Thek. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a Hidden Beck. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. Okay. When Gadden went blind, Everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brezhik in his place. But Gadden figured Brezhik wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Brezhik was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Bex from the face of Terrace. This gang war in the Lower City is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the street. It's like they've gone insane. Damn, okay, makes sense. Kalanord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridium Plague. <laughs> I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. Yep, that almost happened. Bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time. Way beneath a bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure Kalos has been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. Wow. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. Oh, oh, I haven't finished eating. <laughs> Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. That's so good. I want I want them on my team. I wanna have a Wookiee. I wanna have a Wookiee friend. What the fuck is that? Jagacha. What the fuck is that? Are you one person? Are you one thing or two? You're like coming out of him. What? Garth, move out of the way. Garth! What the fuck? You up and eat. What do you want, human? You come to stare like others here on Taras? You think we are strange? Exposed. <laughs> we just got called out. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? Sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to offend you, but also like... What's the situation there? You're being slowly ingested by this creature? Okay, you're not here to offend me. What do you want then? I just came to stare at the freak. I just want to ask you some questions. Tell me about what the fuck's going on here. Questions? What kind of questions? What planet are you from? You couldn't say it and don't have the ears for it. Two voices create the name and four ears hear the true sound. Oh wow. That's cool. But your kind would call our home Sorgus, a small world far off the Perlemian trade route. What kind of creature are you? In your one voiced tongue you would call our kind... Power? Oh man. Pronunciation. In your one voice tongue, you would call our kind. Pedwag? <laughs> Ped. Ped. Mm -mm. I'm gonna I'm a quickly just type this name in so I can s ask for the pronunciation. Um, <laughs> how do you say it? How do you say it? Someone needs to split it up for me. How do you say it? <laughs> I can't. I can't find it anywhere. God damn it. Um, I'm literally just trying to see if there's like a phonetics version of how to say it. So I have to say my own thing. We're gonna pair. We're just gonna call him Pear Doug. We're just gonna call him Pear Doug, and I know that's not how you say it. But it's what I, it's what my brain says when I look at it. So this guy's species is Pear Doug. There you go. So good. That's much better than me trying to pronounce whatever the hell that is. <laughs> I notice your other head doesn't say much. Nothing that you would hear at least. This is fascinating. So they like, we can't hear or like understand how they talk with two mouths and four ears. That's so interesting. Talking about our home only makes this quarantine more difficult to bear. Forgive us, human, but we do not wish to be reminded of it. What do you know about Taris? 
Nothing. We were only stopping here to get supplies when the Sith attacked. They imposed a quarantine on all ships that had landed on Taris. Now we are stuck here on a world that hates non-humans. Not a good place to be. <laughs> good. Leave us alone. We just want quarantine to end so we can go back home. That is just such a fascinating, fascinating creature. We're going to call you Cat Dog. We're going to call you Cat Dog for reasons. <laughs> That's okay. Jagatcha. That is. That's something else. All right. I like how like so much of uh, so much of these rooms and all of like adi like almost additional content is like worth looking into instead of just like dipping in for the main quest and then leaving. Like there's so many interesting like characters and people to people to speak to in this place, which is which is awesome. Uh, so we're gonna, we'll move out and we'll go to the hidden Bex base now. Uh, also there is an opportunity for us to apparently get into playing a card game, which is not Sabak, but something else that I've already forgotten the name of because there's just so many new, like, concepts going on. The Sith War began two and a half years ago. I wish that, nah, the times where I wish that the loading screens were a little bit slower and not so fast on uh, the Xbox so I could actually read a little bit of the lore tidbits that are that are coming in. I'll try and like read those back in my own time, I guess. <laughs> Go in and speak to Gadon if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden becks are watching you. Cool, so the cantina has been dealt with. We've been in there, we've gotten to know some people. Uh, and now mission and Big Z, because I've forgotten his name already, bad with names, <laughs> and there's so many of them, uh, are now looking for food in this base, and then we've also got to go to the Black Volcar base um, to find out information on the escape pods. So we've got a pretty good understanding of like what to do. We just got to go get to know the get to know the locals. There's not much of a variety in the uh, in the Twilight NPCs, are they? They are all green. Yeah, all green. I don't deal in slaves, but that Republic soldier Bredrick's offering as a prize would be worth a lot of credits to the right buyer. To the right buyer. Oh. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Bredrick and his Volkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Vulcas do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar Spy. Vulcar Spy! Bam! <laughs> Zaydra and Gadon Thek. I recognize uh, Gadden's name. Uh, sorry voice. Sorry, my brain is obviously fried today. Uh, I recognize Gadden's voice, but I can't pin it. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've... Okay, you've got nothing new to say? You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Bredrick and the Vulkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? You have problems with the Sith? A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the Lower City. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcars won't listen. I need information on those Republic escape pods that crashed in the Undercity, please. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the Upper City about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. <laughs> if the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. 
It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas <laughs> stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, oh. but the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Ah, that's the slave thing that the that other dude was talking about just before? Goddamn. Normally, the Vulcas would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcar base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcar scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. Swoop race? I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcar's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila <laughs> is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. So good. I... fuck good. I'm a big fan of like the pod racing and I really want pod races to come back in Star Wars eventually. Like... I, I love I love that stuff. Like one of my favorite scenes in in episode one is just I love how much focus is is on the the pod racing. It's such a fun sequence, and I just want it to come back. But a swoop bike race is a good is a good alternative. If you ever played that Star Wars racer game, that's a lot of fun as well. <laughs> I might be able to help you with this if you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here, and much to lose. What are you proposing? Let the girl speak. It's like instantly just like triggers a Rogue One memory. <laughs> what is she proposing? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Bex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. Just call me Anakin Skywalker, baby. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcars stole the prototype from us. Naturally. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. How am I supposed to get inside the Vulcar base? Getting into the Vulcar base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veo. Convenient. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. <laughs> She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Missions explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcar base, it's her. Where can I find a mission? And can I take her on the, my team with a Wookiee? She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are Zalbar. always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. Naturally. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard, but the security down here is much tougher. Of course it you'll is. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hand. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. I mean, that seems like a fair deal. As long as we have papers, they shouldn't be suspicious. I like to be prepared. Eventually, the Sith are going to try to drive us out of the Undercity. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. Good choice. Thanks for the uniform. I'll take it. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Yes, I want to ask you some questions because this is a game where dialogue is very important. Your time would probably be better spent going after the prototype swoop engine the Vulcan stole from us. But I'll answer your questions if I can. Thank you. <laughs> Why is the first question what's up with your freaky eyes old man we know that he's blind 
We don't need to ask those questions. It makes us come off as so rude and ignorant. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm not. I'm gonna ask the more polite version. Uh, very tactful. Are you itching for a fight or something? Oops. How dare you! I should kill you where you stand. Calm down, Zerdra. I'm not ashamed of what I've become. As you can see, I lost my eyes in a swoop racing crash. I rely on these artificial replacements to see now. But oh, my cool. blindness was not the worst consequence of my accident. My affliction was what eventually led to this war between my Bex and the Vulkers. <laughs> it's really hard because I have like a, a, like things like this that happen that relate to other Star Wars content that I've watched. And I know that not everyone has experienced all of Star Wars. I mean, I am the same. I'm experiencing this for the first time, but like I've watched all of like Clone Wars and Rebels and stuff like that. And it's like sometimes things happen in Star Wars where I just want to go, oh, it's like this and this. And I don't want to like accidentally spoil someone on something. I don't know. How long should spoilers last for? <laughs> Forever, probably, because then I don't want this to be spoiled. So it's like it's hard. But for those, I feel like I can just make like illusions. You know, you can just go, if you know, you know. If you're thinking about blindness in Star Wars, if you know, you know. He could have just gotten some artificial eyes. So he can he can actually see, so he's not actually blind. But I actually really like the, the way that spoiler character utilizes blindness. And there's also stuff in, like, video games that we've dealt with as well, like uh, The Force Unleashed with Ram Coda as well, like General Coda's blindness. I feel like that's, you know, that's not necessarily a big spoiler for me to talk about. It's fine. <laughs> uh, but I re blindness in Star Wars is very interesting depending on who is the blind one. Uh, but this guy was, probably needs his artificial artificial eyes. But at least there are, there are answers to that. But I love how I felt like I was asking the more polite version. And they're just like, I'm going to kill you where you stand. When I lost my sight in the swoop bike accident, everyone assumed I would step down as leader of the Hidden Bex and let Brezhik, my most trusted follower, take over. But with my ocular implants, I can still see well enough to lead this gang. Mm. And I knew Brezhik wasn't ready to take over yet. Unfortunately, Brezhik didn't agree with me. In a rage, he left to join our arch-rivals, the Black Vulcans. A lot of the younger gang members followed him, and soon he and his followers had taken control of the Vulcan gang. Brezhik is a proud man. My decision was a public humiliation for him. Maybe if I had stepped down, this gang war could have been avoided. Don't fool yourself, Gadden. Brezhik wants to control the lower city gangs. If you'd stepped down, he'd have led the Bex against the Vulkers. He wanted this war, one way or another. <sighs> I know you're right, Zerdra. Brezhik won't rest until I am dead and the Bex are no more. But it's hard to accept the truth of his betrayal. Your time would probably... Uh, we'll just look for Mission, because Mission said that she was going to be at this base, so we'll probably find her around here somewhere. Not while the Sith quarantine is in place. Even the fastest smuggler ships can't break the blockade of the fleet surrounding the planet without the proper launch codes. Any ship leaving the terrace atmosphere without the proper codes would be instantly disintegrated by blaster cannons fired by the Sith fleet's automated targeting systems. Feel free to come back anytime. We're not like those Vulcan savages. Strangers are welcome in the Beck base. Nice. Items received, items lost. Journal entry added. Uh, the search for Bastila. Gadden Thek, leader of the Hidden Beck Swoop Gang, will help you if you get uh, help you get Bastila back if you recover a prototype swoop accelerator stolen by the rival Black Volcars. He suggested you look for Mission Val in the Undercity or the Sewers to help you get in. In the Undercity or the Sewers. Uh, so mission might not actually be here after all, even though the dialogue seemed to hint hint at that. And instead is chilling out past Sith, where we need to um, give some security papers. Oh, I hear some I hear some goddamn music playing. I can't believe that Tater, uh, that, that Tater, Taters, Potatoes? I can't believe that Traitor Brezik used to be one of us. Gadden may be old and blind, but I'd rather follow him than a turncoat like Brezik. 
I don't know, man. Something about reading all these Star Wars names makes my... <laughs> out loud sometimes makes my brain fucking just, like, trip over itself. I can't even speak. The swoop race coming up will show those Volcars who's in charge here. When we win half, the people following Brezik will desert him. If the Volkas hadn't stolen our swoop engine prototype, we'd be a lock to win this race this year. It's alright, I'll get it back. Oh, can I? Whatever. No problem. No Didn't problem. work. <laughs> Didn't work. No, no problem. Didn't work. Who's playing that? Who's playing that music? We gotta, we gotta find him. Probably... Probably in the next place. Also locked. God damn it. Standard door. Perfect. No problem. Didn't work. <laughs> you tried, bud. Alright, so there's not much for us to do around the hidden back base at this current point in time. So let's go elsewhere and we'll look for mission and we can get ourselves into the uh the volcar base hell yeah making friends dude the republic now faces the sith forces of startling strength um which direction should i be heading in um Tapa city the apartments the cantina and the hidden back base all right well i guess we're gonna just start Getting to know the the lower city, and we've got to take on some we've got to take on some enemies that are just waiting for us. I might instead of using swords, I might switch to utilizing um, all right, just a blast rifle. I'll utilize trying to shoot him from a distance. Oh, nice work, man! You're so accurate with that snipe shot. Look at you shooting the ground. <laughs> Oh god, I fucked it. I'm, I'm almost dead. Alright, I fucked up. Karth really just- oh, she helped out. Karth really just helping me out here, because I'm sucking bad. Ooh, hang on. Dialogue with Black Volkars. I just wasted this energy shield. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? I don't see Davik doing anything for his share. We do all the work. Davik claims he's part of the exchange, so let's see him prove it. Yeah, let's see the big crime lord come and get his money from the Black Volkars. Ah, ah so you want to play the hard way? Hard way. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Who's coming in? Man with a big gun. Oh, hey, Ganderus. We didn't know you was working for Davik now. Yeah, we were just goofing around here. We don't want no trouble with a Mandalorian. Here's Davik's cut. Oh, this is the Mandalorian we heard about. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking oh, no, cracking some heads. <laughs> Maybe next time, Ganderus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Dude! For a second when it went to that first dude's face, I was like, oh my god, they gave the Mandalorian character the default male face as well. Uh, luckily, he's got a unique looking appearance. Um, I'm going to talk to that guy, I can't wait. Um, we can bump up some, some attributes. We're going to have one point remaining. Um... I need to get... I need to bump up my persuasion anyway. I need to bump up my persuasion. Because I need to convince people to take bounties off of the innocents. Skills. There you go. Let me put two into persuasion. Uh, I'm also going to put one into awareness. And I guess I'll do another one for security as well. Hell yeah. All right. Dude, Candorous Auto. You don't look like a Mandalorian. <laughs> he's got his he's got his Beskar boots on, dude. He's got his Beskar boots on and a cool tattoo and a goddamn massive gun. Those Valkers are dumber than a Coruscant granite slug. 
They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. No, bro, I want to talk to you. No! <laughs> Let yes, me talk to the mind. Mandalorian. He just disappeared. He just literally faded away. He's like, see ya. <laughs> you got it. He just peaced out, dude. Okay, so this is the lower city apartments, okay. We're gonna just map out this area first. Ah, oh, there's the Sith. You got this, man. I believe in you. Combat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get that sniper shot, boy. Alright, energy shield is coming in clutch. Nice. Remember, you can use the rapid transit system to return to your base. While in the apartment complex, transit back. Yes. Cool. Some wreckage here. Something seems to be bothering Karth. Maybe you should speak to him and see if you can get him to open up about it. Okay. Yes, what's on your mind? What's on your mind, buddy? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? Well, is something... Is something bothering you? Answer the damn questions already. No, no. I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. Oh my god. <laughs> Excellent. Soon all your secrets will be mine. All my secrets are purely of the mundane variety, unfortunately. Nothing worth extracting, though. You're welcome to try. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. Okay. Uh, like you said when we first met, Bastler didn't have time to use her powers. Why else me add it to the point? Okay. True. Bastler is as powerful as they say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan, after all. Mm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? A smuggler? I should have guessed. Now, isn't it odd, however, that a smuggler who was added to the crew at the last minute just happens to be alive? You getting suspicious of me, bro? No. Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested to transfer aboard happens to survive. Okay, bro. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board, but hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. I don't like to be accused, bro. I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. Are you always this suspicious? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so <laughs> can we just keep our mind on more important things? Okay, bro. I consider this important. All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. You know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. I like how the conversations between these characters are quite, like, realistically placed, and then postponing it till later as well. He's like, mate, we'll do it later. <laughs> Karth, although he has agreed to work with you, you've learned that Karth is suspicious and mistrustful of others. There is probably a reason behind his mistrust, and he was reluctant to discuss it. Man's got a traumatic past. Okay, so I assume that this is going to be our pathway to the lower city. Right, so we've mapped out one side. Uh, so we've got the lower city to go down to, and then we've got the apartments uh, that the Black Volkars were chilling in front of. For Candorous Auto... A Mandalorian 
made him back off because he's working for, for Davik. It's just very interesting that when you have a Mandalorian show up, you almost have like a preconceived like idea of like what they're gonna what they're gonna look like when they show up. So I was I was a bit surprised. Cause he was he was looking a bit bare bones. But he's got his best guard boots on, that's all you need. Best guard cowboy boots. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try using a concussion grenade. Take that. Hell yeah, get concussed, bro. Yes! Use a... Do we just have a normal med, med pack? Yes, we do. Yeah. Sniper shot. Alright, I do not have the accuracy to do that, so I need to get closer. Oh god, there's more. Um... How do I switch tar- yes, I switch targets with that. Frag grenade. Eat my fucking grenade. Nice! Alright, we're slowly improving and getting better at how the combat works in this game. Nice. Pretty good. Alright, how do I switch characters again? There you go. Heal yourself. Yes? Yes? Need to be careful because I don't want to run out of run out of med packs. Um, lower city apartments again. Okay, lower city apartments must be a pretty big place. And we've got an elevator. Where does the elevator go? To the upper city. Okay. I'm wondering if the elevator would go down. And then what's on this side? Why that corpse? Oh, never mind. We're in combat. Eat my frag grenade, boy. Holy shit, man, I'm getting wrecked. Why aren't you doing stuff? Yes. Use the force. Dodge the bullets. Don't get smacked by them. I'm close to death. Oh my god, I'm actually... Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually dead. Ooh, power blast. Nice. Come on, Karth. Thank you. Alright, get up. Get up, boy. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> All right, advanced med pack it is. Hi yeah. All right, really need to make use of that energy shield. I gotta. I, I won't. I won't lie. That whole med pack deal. Um, the energy pack, energy shield, from that dialogue that we had with the character much earlier, probably was a good idea. It's a good thing we, that we just ended up finding one though. So this is the entrance to the Volcar base. Can we just go in? This door cannot be opened from the outside, you have to find another way. Okay, so through the sewers, I suppose, with uh, with mission. Let's check this Twilight Corpse. Two med packs, wonderful. Cool, all right, we have an idea about this map then, this part of the game. Uh, we should check out the, we'll check out the lower city apartments. It looks like there's two entrances to it. Damn, god damn, we're missing the cool lore bits at the loading screen. Something about, like, Jedi. Oh, I've already been here. Oh, we've cleared this out before, because that's the droid that we... Interesting. Okay, we've already done all of this then. No worries. I don't have to hang out here, because we already killed the gang leader. We already killed the Volcar gang leader that was down here. So we can chill out. I'm assuming that it, that Darth uh, Darth Malak must be the that character that's on the main menu that's just chilling. So I guess we know what he looks like now. He's just hanging out on the main menu because I know what Darth Revan looks like. Looks badass, um, but I don't really know much about Darth Darth Malak outside of his name. Uh, I'm assuming this is going to be the same lower city apartments then. Oh, it's not. Bounty hunter. Gee, we, I, uh, God, you seem to be taking great interest in our progress. Do you need something, little man? Don't talk smack to this guy. 
Donkey Pa Nonku Neck Up One Quiet, Lugro. That's Kalo Nord, the infamous bounty hunter. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. The only way you'll collect that bounty is over our cold dead bodies. McClunky! That's the plan. <laughs> yeah, fucking did not take long, bro. <laughs> hey, what's up? Once again? <laughs> he doesn't even need proof. He doesn't even need to take proof with him of uh, that he's uh, he's brought him in cold because they just trust his word because he's a badass. This dude's all about bringing him in cold, not bringing him in warm. Oh shit! Hello. Oh no! Vol another Volcar gang boss. Last time I went up against the gang boss with an energy shield, I barely made it out alive. Eat my frag. How do we... Yeah, nice. Oh, that's much better. Hell yes. Come on. Quick. Can we prevent Karth from dying, please? Thank you. Karth, no! Be careful. You might die. Ooh, that sniper shot does have good range sometimes. Nice. Well, I mean, dude, you're gonna die, mate. I'm gonna need to use both of them. Alright, we're all out of med packs, mate, so you need to... <gasps> no! What did I just do? I accidentally used something on myself. I don't even know what I did. I guess it was some sort of uh, enhancement. Power blast. Oh, we missed. God, man, we are getting our asses kicked, huh? Yes. Ooh, a frag miner, frag mine, disable mine, recover mine. Ooh. It's gonna do a check though, isn't it? Could we potentially fail? And then it'll blow us up. Yep, party member killed. <laughs> I was like, we could potentially fail depending on our skill, right? God damn it. Oh look, an advanced med pack. How convenient. Thank you. <laughs> oh, if a container's empty, I kind of hope was like... I wish that it would not allow us to open the box again. Just, just close that off to us. Armor reinforcement. What's the deal with that? Uh, we've got an armor reinforcement? Is that like a... What is that? A special upgrade item. Jurasteel reinforcement is a complicated armor application that increases protective qualities. These modifications require a workbench with adequate tools and an armor of high quality marked as upgradable. Okay, so I have to actually manually kind of do that. All right, guys, please have some med packs for me. Oh, another energy shield. And a Volcar shock stick. Oh, nice. We're just getting energy. We're just getting energy shields. Uh, equipped. Uses three out of five. Alright, I need you... How do we switch characters again? How do we switch characters on this screen? Because I need to equip... There you go. Ah, oh, RB. Wonderful. I need you to have an energy shield as well, my guy. What is his clothing? Oh, his, he just has... Okay. You need a combat suit, dude. You need a combat suit. Okay. Now we just look the same and it's weird because you don't have your unique clothes. I wish that there was an option yes. for like the character's default clothes to like override their like what they're wearing. Because now he just looks strange. <laughs> We're just both wearing the same clothes. We're just wearing the same clothes as um Gadden Thick. What? Alright. We might not have any more enemies down here, sure. so I'll just chill for a sec, actually. We'll explore this area. If there are enemies, we're going to have to... Yep. Yeah. Uh, shit. Ready. Do that energy shield. You got less health. We need you to live. Nice. Alright, you need an energy shield because you're almost dead. 
Actually, can I level up? No. You can level up, Karth. You're ready to level up. Alright, let's give him some stuff. Oh man. He's much better at treating injuries than I am. It'd be nice if he could heal me. But I think it's only for when he heals himself. Um, God, your stats suck. What's going on with you, bud? <laughs> he can't even persuade anyone, because I guess because he's not related to actual dialogue. It's only my character. Let's give him some... Oh, that's good to know. So we could switch his character if he had like a higher repair or security skill than we did, which he doesn't. Mate, you're not very good. How do we even... <laughs> How do we even get this guy to level up? What's recommended? It's recommended to keep treating his injury. Interesting. I don't know how to level up this guy. Because I don't really... I don't know you, man. I don't know you. Um... Does he have any... God damn. You have gained new feats. You must use X to select new feats before continuing. Oh. The following feat's been recommended. Oh. So he's already unlocked. An extra ranged weapon attack during the round character. Suffer must for defense. Okay. So he's already got this shit unlocked. Interesting. So he can... He can wear up to heavy armor. Improved two weapon fighting. I don't know how to. I might give him improved power blast. Oh, yes, that's how we do it. We'll give him improved power blast instead. There you go. Level five. What? What? I don't know how to really optimize or level up my characters, you know. I haven't done this before, so we're just gonna just gonna roll with it. This is an electronic personal message center, though it looks like it hasn't been used in some time. There was one unread message on the system. Hey Liam, how's life on Taris? I heard your brother left for Tatooine to become a miner. Did he at least have did he at least leave hyperdrive behind to keep you company? Leave hyperdrive behind? Who's hyperdrive? Is that the nickname for a droid? I hope you're still practicing with that blaster I gave you. Remember what I taught you, because you might need it. Taris isn't like Alderaan. It can be dangerous there. Step away from the, Stay away from those swoop gangs and keep everything locked up in that old strong box. Nobody's going to be busting into that thing. Hope to hear from you soon. Uncle Louie. Hmm. Alright, what are my what are my skills? <laughs> can I should I disable it or recover it? Uh give me my let me look at my skills. Ooh, script selection. The character will use their currently equipped weapon in combat. Grenadier. We use grenades in combat when appropriate. They will try to avoid catching other party members in the blast. Oh, that's good to know. I can look at my main skills. How do I look at my... Ah, oh, it's in here. Uh, demolitions. Our demolitions isn't very good. Ah. Oh. Recover or disarm mines is like the same thing. I feel like we're going to get blown up again. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get blown up again, Karth. Ready. You're the one with the fucking... Oh, shit. What? Oh, you can just activate it and then move out of the way. Because <laughs> it was a gas, a gas mine. Fine. There's a particularly sturdy construction, the Locker's computerized touch panel that uses a password entry system. Because this box is an older off-planet model, there is no interface for you to try and slice the system. You'll have to figure out the password if you want to get inside. Damn. This strong box is the property of Alarmatic. Access not permitted to unauthorized users. Please enter proper password. Responses to confirm identity. What is the name of your pet? Oh, <laughs> Raincore Louie. Hoppy. Tika Snapper. Let's hyperdrive. Who taught you to fire a blaster? We'll say my uncle. Where did your family come from originally? Ah, 
Ah, uh, he said this isn't Alderaan, but then he's also going to Tatooine. It's either Tatooine or Alderaan. Identity confirmed, lock disabled, welcome alarm. Nice, you just have to pay attention and listen to uh, read what we read. Sealed strong box, nice. Blaster pistol, Republic mod armor, and 100 credits. How much credits have we got right now? We rocking the 620 credits? And we got some new armor. Upgradable as well. So we can do that mod that we just got. The Republic has prospered militarily by keeping its troops well supplied with modular armor, ensuring they are always prepared for a variety of battle conditions. Yo! Now we look different. It's great. Here we go. Get sniper shot. Oh, we stunned him because it was like a sneak attack? He was stunned because we got the drop on him. Nice. Low security door. Let's get it. Got it. Ooh, Selvan. <gasps> That's a bounty. Selvan's a bounty. Oh, shit. There is an official government bounty out on a woman named Selvan. Selvan is a she is a known assassin, and there are no leads as to where she may be hiding now. I just found a bounty hunter. Probably a good idea to save. <laughs> it's like, oh shit, I'm not gonna rely on auto save for this one. Okay, Selvan. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Uh, I was just exploring. I'm here to collect the bounty on your head, Selvan. Let's ask some questions first. No, I'm the one with the blaster pointed at you. You sure? I get to ask the questions. What are you doing here? You sure? Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting for you here. This is your only warning. If you bother me again, you won't walk out of here alive. I gave you a chance to get out of here and leave me alone. But I guess you're just too stupid to take it. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. Let's go! Oh god, she's tough. She whipped the sword out. Quick, go for the... Oh, he's dead. <laughs> um, <laughs> poison grenade, go! Nice, you've been poisoned. Take that, Selvan. We're gonna win. Energy blast. Energy shield. Let's go. Improve blaster attack. What would we do without calf? Yes! Yeah! Gotcha. Get up. Man, we're getting wrecked, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are not doing so hot, are we? Scope, adrenaline amplifier, and a neural band. Interesting. Let's take a look at these items. We're going to collect on that bounty, dude. This device improves the wearer's reflexes by triggering prolonged bursts of adrenaline. It is thought to be perfectly safe with only a few instances of uncontrolled muscle spasms. You know what we probably should have done? We literally have a stealth belt. Probably would have been a good idea for us to um, try and stealth into that room and then maybe we could have got a, a better shot at her. I don't know if we can engage combat ourselves though that's the thing i think we have to wait for combat to be initiated by someone else who's not an enemy a neural band restricted not usable by wookies developed after the xr kun war this item bolsters the willpower of the user by electrically reinforcing established mental patterns republic troops call it little shocky the xr kun war xr kun i think xr kun is probably the one xr kun war we got a neural band. Oh god, it looks massive on our head. We look like fucking Lobot. Hello, I'm Lobot. How are you? That's what Lobot sounds like if he could talk, by the way. <laughs> if you guys haven't read a Lando uh, miniseries comic, um, it's, it's really neat, by the way. It shows some cool backstory with Lando and, and Lobot. I don't want to give some stuff away because comics are probably... Um, I'd say out of like the the widespread media of Star Wars, comics might probably comics and novels are probably going to be on the lowest of what people have actually like read and experienced. That's not to say that 
it's not popular at all because they are massively popular. Like, there's some really good comics and some really good novels, both in canon and legends, by the way. So I don't, I'm not just going to assume that everybody has read them because I'm behind on so many myself. Um, but I just do want to point out that there is a really good, uh, really good backstory comic book with, with Lando and Lobot. Um, that gives uh -huh. some, uh, gives some interesting, uh, perspective. Yes, on, what's in your uh, mind? You got it. Interesting perspective on him as a character. Oh, I was supposed to heal Karth then. Never mind. He'll survive. He's a tough boy. I'm the one that keeps dying after all. <laughs> but we've got more reflexes now and better armor. We're getting there. We're starting off as our level one scumbag. And we're slowly getting stronger. All right. Map note. Selvin's apartment. Well, we can go back to Zach's now and be like, we did it. I can bring you in warm or I can bring you in cold. Nice. Okay, so it was worth going to the lower city apartments that are... Um, a different one to the other ones. I am going to go back real quick just to, to Zax. He's in the cantina, isn't he? He's right around here. We're going to go back to Zax. Tell him the good news. So we, de we, we defeated... We defeated a master assassin. And by we, I mean Karth. <laughs> But it has been has been done, and now we can collect. And then there's still another one to take on. Back again, human. I hope you didn't come just to chat. Davik hired me to do business and make credits, not to make small talk. I've got a bounty I want to collect on. A bounty? Well, human, that is what I'm here for. Which bounty are you here to collect on? Tell him about Selvin. So, Selvin's dead. All the other bounty hunters who went after her ended up dead themselves, you know? You did well, human. 300 credits. That's the price for all bounties. Can we... Do you reckon? I've upped my persuade skill a bit. Yeah! You're brave, human, to bargain with a hut, but I like you. Okay, 400 it is. You do good work, human. There's lots of bounty hunters on Taris, but most are lazy. Maybe if you keep cashing in bounties, they'll work harder. Nice. I wonder if we get more bounties now. Oh, it's already in our data pad. And Bendak Starkiller, I think, is the other one now. Nice! 400 credits. Uh, journal entry. I guess we could look at... Oh, it'll be in completed quests now. Where others have failed, you have once again found success in managing to kill the assassin Selvin for Zax. Hell yeah! It's been a while since we've completed a quest, according to that little group. Alright, we've got credits. I'm gonna need to find... It's probably a good idea for us to find a... A merchant so we can buy some more med packs because we're really kind of almost dying and for a cantina I'm surprised at the lack of like this is usually the center where you buy your drinks maybe they closed up shop maybe it's like they've put down a security shutter because of the people that keep dying in here <laughs> um, we could necessarily we could pay hold oh we should try and see if we can persuade him now. This better be important. This better be important. I'm gonna see if I can persuade you now. I've got super technology on my head. Hey, it's like gonna make me look cool fine. and persuasive. Well, yes. I guess you may be right. Besides, I've noticed some of the girls around here are giving me the cold shoulder since all this started. Okay, you win. Dia can live. Don't nice. worry. I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty is off the table. Hell yeah. Light side points added. All right, so yeah. Killing them is obviously going to add dark side points. Thanks to your in intervention, Holden has withdrawn the bounty from Dia's head. Now the only thing left is to tell Dia herself the good news. Um, where is she in the upper city again? She's like right at the beginning, isn't she? Like near our apartment. So we can do this thing that the game taught us about, which is return to hideout. But then I think as soon as we, I think what it said was, as soon as we leave, we're not able to return. 
Something like that. If we go somewhere else, I think. I don't necessarily remember, but we'll see. Dia's apartment. The other way. And then we can also talk to this dude who sells things, and hopefully he's selling some med packs, to be honest. Yo! You're back. Did You're you back. did you manage to get Holden to withdraw the price on my head? I did. You get to continue being the badass self-defense lady that you are. Don't let any man make advances on you. Next time, go for the gut. <laughs> he, he called the bounty off? That's wonderful. I only wish I had something to give you as a reward. Wait a minute. I know. I don't have many credits, but there is something I can give you. It's a family heirloom. It's not much, but it's something. Imagine passing on a family heirloom. I want to know what it is and what it's going to do before I accept it, though, because I feel like that's like, you know, you don't have to part with that. But also, I'll take it. I can never truly repay you for helping me, but you'll always have my thanks for what you did. What do we get? What is it? What did we get? I like that it's at least purple, so we know when we get something new. You did not give me a blaster pistol, right? I think this is just a bunch of stuff that we've gotten recently. There's the Sith Papers. Okay, what did you give us? Because it just says items received. Hmm. Well, did we... What's the family heirloom that we got out of that? You did... <laughs> there was nothing in that thing that was like... A family heirloom type deal. What did you give us? Uh, maybe we'll check the completed quest. Not surprisingly, Dia was very excited to discover that the bounty on her head had been lifted. Thanks to you, she no longer has to fear retribution from Holden for merely defending herself. Hmm. What did we get? I guess we got, like... Something. <laughs> we got something. Back again. Yeah, I want to see what you've got for sale. Because i got money now. I'm rich! Okay. It costs 44 for a med bank. 165 for a military suit. Oh, it would be nice if we could compare to what we already have, but... We'll see. Quarter star, fibro sword. Sound dampening stealth unit. Energy shields. Frag mines. Okay, I think we need to buy med packs. I'll buy like five for now. Computer spikes, parts, we have... It'd be nice if we could see how much we already have, but that's... I guess we can just go into the sell list to do that ourselves. Just trying to make it convenient. Uh, clothing, combat suit. I could probably sell to one of those. Shell assault sword. Sell a blaster pistol. Sell a blaster rifle. Just sell our doubles, you know. Um, oh, I'll go to my workshop so I can put my armor reinforcement on. Energy projector. And a scope. Okay. Um, I think you might need an upgrade for your for your gear, sir. Um, Karth has combat suit, light armor proficiency, with four defense bonus and five on the max dexterity bonus. Ah, um, So four and five. This is six and three, five and four, four and five. Oh, that's what you have the combat suit, right? Seven and two. I guess we should really focus on. I would just say focusing on defense is probably a good idea. I'm going to buy light battle armor. And I'm going to see who will benefit more from that. Me or you? Because what do I have? I've got the Republic armor, which is 5 and 4. That's 7 and 2. But this is also upgradable. I'm going to give Karth that instead of the combat suit. Oh, the dexterity is kind of good, though. I bought it, so I'll, I'll do it. Nice. Oh, it's just like an upgraded version of the combat what? suit we already had. Sick. 
I think the really like the med packs is the thing, <laughs> you know. Med packs are the thing that you need the most. Here's our workbench. Oh, I guess we can store stuff in a locker. Switch to give items. Yeah, cool. All right, let's have a look. Armor. Let's put that on there. That gives us a six on defense bonus. Nice. Uh, we can put a scope on Karth's blaster, which I just allows him to. It will just give him some more accuracy, I guess. Nice. And then on melee, oh, we've got another the energy projector damage bonus. Nice. Okay, we've upgraded some shit. You just chilling in there with your guns? Nice. Look, two beds so we can sleep with our feet facing each other. <laughs> Just me and Karth hanging out in the apartment. Okay, so you can't, oh, I can't cancel from this screen. Interesting. Yes, okay. Now I think this is what the game was telling us about returning, right? Transit back. Does it take us to Hell yeah. Nice. Okay. What? That's really nice. I actually genuinely really like that putting that system in for us. I appreciate that. Cool. So if you get some mods that you want to upgrade or to quickly, you know, check out that merchant to buy some more med packs, stuff like that. You can head over there and then just come back here. Good system. I appreciate it. Um, so we want to go to... We want to do the Sith Papers. So we've got our Sith Papers, which is in our inventory. I kind of wish that when we picked up items that we've already gotten before, they're not highlighted in purple. You know? But it is what it is. So, Sith Papers. These official looking papers identify the bearer as being on special assignment by order of the Sith government of Taris. They also warn of gruesome penalties for anyone foolish enough to challenge the bearer. Cool. What? All right. Uh, this way, both characters were facing different ways. Nice, we're making, we're making progress and we're getting stronger. Lobot with a gun, don't mess with him. We're getting stronger. We've got energy shields. We've got med packs. we got battle stimulants and stuff that I still haven't really gotten good at using, but I should. And I did go the wrong way anyway. <laughs> I'm doing so good at this. <laughs> We're going to go the other way. I don't have a great handle on where we are so far, but we're doing okay. I'm surprised, yeah, that there isn't, like, um, a, a bartender for us to talk to in that main center place of the cantina. But potentially they might be in another room, which would be weird. I might have, might have missed it. But we'll see, we'll see how we go. We'll get through to our little Sith, we'll get through our Sith guy with the papers, which I guess will takes us into the, takes us into the lower city, and then we can find Mission, and, God, I've forgotten his name again. Big Z, Zalbar? Zalba? Um, Mission Vow in the Undercity. Yeah, of course you're not going to give us the full name. I think it's Zalba. Oh, something is bothering you once again. Let's have a chat. Yes, what's on your mind? You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? I'd like to know now if we have a problem. <laughs> I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Karth is just built different, man. <laughs> Maybe so, but I've been betrayed before by people. I'm, well, it just won't happen again, that's all. So you want some guarantee that I won't betray you? I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you. Not for me. You don't have to take it personally. 
Well, you can stop wondering. I'm not. <laughs> I don't need someone around who doesn't trust me. You sure you don't want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. What I want is to save the galaxy, if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. Little baby boy doesn't want to talk about it. We'll get it. We'll get it out of him. He will cuddle up to us. We share an apartment together. We have roomies. Despite being unimpressed with your abilities, Karth is still not willing to fully open up to you. Maybe if you give him some time, he'll finally learn to trust you. You're like a puppy. We'll get you there, bud. We'll get you. Ooh, blaster turrets. Hello. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Guess who's got security papers, bro? <laughs> you can't keep me out if you're dead. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rackles, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Nice. Thank you. We're gonna go find Mission. Mission and Zalbar. You there, Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Oh, yeah, God. this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. <laughs> of course. This planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! Guys, if you were nicer, I might have given it to you. Who are you? What are you doing here in the Undercity? I don't have any credits on me. There's, I wish that there was an intimidate option, but it seems that there's a, only the option to persuade. We are the outcasts. Banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. This is our village. We live here in the Undercity. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. <laughs> you poor wretches. <clears throat> See, I can give him more. It's like, I kind of want to, but at the same time, he didn't have to threaten me, dude. Fuck it. I'm gonna kill him with kindness. <laughs> credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush. Any, any thanks, bro? Us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. Damn it. No, no fucking thank you, either. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. I wasted my money. Good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name's Chris Dracor. Who are you? That's not my voice. <laughs> That's not my character's voice. He ain't he ain't full on Western bounty hunter. <laughs> Where's Dragor? Spit in the bucket. My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? It's better than this festering slime pit. Bruh, there's just something about... It's just hilarious that always the most, like, negative... Uh, for lack of a better word, renegade option. Is always just, like... Fucking just you just trash talk anyone and any and anything that'll listen to you. It's nothing special. We don't wanna we don't wanna make it too too jealous. Not to you, I suppose, but you're probably used to its beauty by now. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so 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 wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village. Tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. 
Rukil? Who's that? Rukil's the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but Wrinkleskin. he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the promised land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. There's always a little bit of truth in legends, you know? So it's okay. It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. Okay. He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. Damn it. I was like, you know what would have been like so cool if he's like, ah, oh, he's like, he's an old man. He's over 900 years old because he's one of Yoda's species. That would be cool. But instead, it's just probably going to be a human old man instead. Wrinkly old man who's over 100 year old. <laughs> You're going to find Gendar. You'd probably get more information from Gendar, the village leader, or maybe Rukil, but I'll tell you whatever I can. Do you know anything about the escape pods that crashed into the Undercity? I don't know anything about that, but maybe I'm Gendar trying. could help you. Sorry. Is there anything else you need? Mm. Have any other upworlders come through here recently? There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Okay. Tell me about this village. Well, I was born here for starters. My parents were outcasts, banished to the Undercity for some crime or other. They never really like to talk about it. Everyone here is an outcast, or the descendants of one. It's tough down here, but we survive. I guess it's easier for me since I've never known anything different. Some of the people have given up all hope. They've become bitter and depressed, but most of us are good people, despite what our ancestors may have done. Gendar could probably tell you more, or maybe Rukil. You could talk to them if you want. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. Shalina. I feel like I need a, for a game like this, um, and something that I always think of doing and always forget to do, I should have a, like, honestly, a physical notepad at this point in time that I just write down names. <laughs> I might look into doing that. Wait, Upworlder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. Wow, you look like Shalina, Dia, and sound like Dia. That's really strange. Do I know you? <laughs> danger and suffering? What are you talking about? The dark side? Hate leads to suffering? The villagers infected with the Rukgul disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's oh. only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into rock ghouls, we'll let them destroy each other. Jesus, that's... that's kind of vicious. Nothing can be done for the infected villagers. Even the serum to counteract the rat ghoul disease wouldn't be any use now. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into rat ghouls and attack them at any moment. Sounds like a job for Chris Dracor. I'll ask you some questions first. If you have questions, you should speak to Gendar. Never mind. He's the leader of this village. All my attention has to stay focused on trying to ease the suffering of those within the village. But despite my medical training, there is nothing I can do to help the poor souls locked on the other side of this gate. Damn, so the I was under the impression that the Rackles were just monsters from how they like the upper city talk about them and they warn of it. And then you get down here and it's like they're actually like people with the Rackle disease that mutate into these creatures instead. Um, which is quite sad. I need healing. Um, the villagers infected with the Rukgul disease. So you just lock them away? For the sake of the... Interesting. Um, I mean, can I do it? 
We can try. I can't stop you from going through the gates, Upworlder. But if the infected ones have already transformed into ruck ghouls, you'll be walking into your grave. Journal entry added. Infected outcasts, Taris. Several of the outcasts have been infected with the Rackle disease. They've been placed in quarantine away from the others so that when they transform into Rackles, they won't ravage the rest of the village. Well, I haven't been given the cure because I haven't been given an item, right? Back again? Is there something else you need? Can I have the cure? Or do I just, I just go to them? And I'll just look at them and go, You are healed. I have healed you. Oh, nice. We just get a free heal. Oh, they just... They're just literally right in front of me. Behind these gates. And then you just watch them just fucking ravage each other? Okay. God damn. Um, let me save into a new slot, please. Please, help us. We're infected with the rat ghoul disease. Oh, here we go. Moment we could... <laughs> uh. No! This cannot be... No! Oh my god. That is disgusting. Oh my god, I'm poisoned. I'm gonna die. And I'm dead. Okay. Alright, I fucked this up. She did warn me, didn't she? Holy crap. Well, now we know why there's an outcast healer here. Play a character dead. Alright, fuck. I got, I'm doing this myself. So my name is Karth. Oh, I'm gonna die too. Uh, quick antidote. Uh, med pack. God damn, they're fucking poisonous too. God, they poison me like immediately, dude. This energy shield does nothing either. Yeah, okay. The entire body has been killed. <laughs> Returning to the main menu. Hey guys, <laughs> no checkpoints in this game, just returning to the main menu. Far out. Alright, so they're a little, they're a little tough. Alright, can we close this gate? Quick, close the gate. <laughs> I fucked Back up. Again. Uh, okay. Farewell. Well, the gate's, uh, the gate's open, so hopefully they don't turn to rat ghouls and wipe out the whole place. God damn. Alright, there's Rakil. Ah, oh, the gate automatically goes back up again. There you go. Alright. Rakil, Wrinkly Man, what's up? You, you come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak Seriously? to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation. Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. Karth really going, this one could be dangerous. I'm like, this man looks like if I blow on him, he'll he'll die. Just let him, let him speak. <laughs> He'd just be saying shit, though. He really do just be saying shit. You're obviously an insane old kook. What are you talking about, old man? A question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. <laughs> Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukul Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. Get to the point, old man. <laughs> I'm Chris Draco. What do you want from me, Rukil? Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too. The true path? What does that mean? You, uh... You a little... you a Jedi? You got the... you got the Force in you, son? No. No, no, not yet. I must be wary. Careful. You may be a false savior. Dare I share my secrets with you? No. Not until you prove yourself. Are you a secret Force user who used to have an apprentice? Is that what you're talking about? But also you're kind of... 
Very scatterbrained. My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. You're so cryptic. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. Mm, secret knowledge. Interesting. An old man with an ancient knowledge. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. What was she looking for? Hmm? What was she looking for? Rukil's apprentice. Rukil of the Outcast Village has asked you to discover the fate of his missing apprentice, a young woman named Malia. She never returned from a mission Rukil sent her on some time ago, though he refuses to tell you what she was searching for when she left the village. Interesting. And Gendar. Man, you're just both chilling next to each other. Both of the story people that I need. Just hanging out. Two bros chilling in an outcast village, five feet apart, because they're related to the story. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. This man be looking fresh as fuck living down here. He's got a good barber down here. Like, I gotta say, like, outside of their clothes, everybody down here is like, they're looking all right. <laughs> this dude is like, he's good. He's, he's, he's keeping himself, he's keeping himself trimmed and, uh, and cleaned up. <laughs> we are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village, as my father was and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations, our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants, but somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly rat ghouls. I wish my character could have a beard instead of a soul patch. <laughs> I regret my character's face because I have to stare at a soul patch, but I got a cool scar at least. Life down here can be difficult. It can break the spirit. Many in the village have become bitter and hopeless, especially those newly cast down. But life goes on, and we must try to make the best of what we have. And maybe someday we will find a better life. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like Rukil. <laughs> Rukil? Who's that? Never met that guy before. The oldest man in the village. He's a kind soul, but I'm afraid he's growing weary of this world. He dreams of escaping, of finding a better world. If you wish to speak to him, you can probably find him wandering about the village. As I said, a kind man, though he does cling to his illusions. A kind man. You can probably find him right behind you. <laughs> the Rakuls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We yeah. know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. Goddamn, and then they turn into those slimy looking things and rip you to shreds. I've seen them firsthand, and I understand now. <laughs> Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. Yeah, I'm looking for a Twi'lek named Mission Vow, please. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. How can I get to the sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed. Unless you wish to become a meal for the rat ghouls and the other foul creatures. Oh, there's rat ghouls in the sewers as well. Dude, just those three, like, totally wrecked my shit. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. 
I represent the entire village, and I will do my best to help you however I can. We needed, like, they even, they poison us through the energy shields, so the energy shields don't really work. Uh, we've got three antidotes that we're going to end up burning through. We've got some stuff that we can do to increase our strength at least, but... I think we need to be even more armed to the teeth. We, and while I'm trying to put distance between us with like long range weapons, they just rush over to us and, and eat us. So, goddamn. Um, we'll try and get to the sewers, I guess. Gendar's tent. Ooh, let's check the bazaar. So we'll have a, we'll have a merchant. Aegea's bazaar? Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Aegir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. I recognize this guy's voice, even though he's putting on a voice. Um, I recognize him from, like, even, I think another Star Wars game that I played when I was a kid. I recognize this voice actor. How do you manage to run a store here in the Undercity? If a villager comes across any useful salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the lower city gangs come down to trade for the salvage. They'll exchange food and medicine for engine parts, old blasters and the like. Sometimes they even give me credits if I have some really good stuff. Okay, let me see your inventory. It ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the prices are right. Yeah, definitely recognize his voice. Ah, uh, you want antidote kits? <laughs> because you're gonna need them. Um, we got... Oh, the med packs are cheaper down here than up in our apartment. By 14 credits. Achani battle armor for 1,312 credits. And it's not even that good. <laughs> like, what the fuck? This armor provides solid defense at the cost of some flexibility, although it is still an Achani product and therefore well-suited to quick-moving combat. Um, ooh, an Arcanian heavy pistol. Arcanian designs of this kind predated mass acceptance of heavier pistols, but 2,000 years later, they are still superior performers. I love that, like, the Old Republic, which is 4,000 years ago, still talks about history that was thousands of years before this. <laughs> That's great. Uh, a retinal combat implant. Uh, immunity against critical hits, awareness plus one. This ocular implant greatly increases visual acuity, allowing what the user to better track enemy movement in combat. General awareness will improve as well. Nice. I need one of those in real life. Um, I'm going to get some antidotes, because I feel like we need them. Uh, we've current that means we've currently got six. So we've already got six, so that'll be okay. I'm going to need some med packs as well. What can we sell for a decent amount of credits? Computer spikes are 50. Advanced repair kit, 10. Parts are 40. Just wondering if there's anything that we can sell for a decent amount of credits, but it's not looking super likely. We don't, we're not in possession of anything that's massively expensive. Um, yeah. We'll see how we go for now. We will see how we go. Thank you for your thank you for your service, sir. Uh, Thirty credits for uh, a blast pack is decent. Um, so Gendal's tent, Rikos tent to the lower city. Okay, so that's where we came from. All right, how do we get to the how do we get to the sewers? Uh, that's the lift. That's the Ratgul gate. Let's look around here for something that isn't these tents for the sewer entrance. Just looking for the sewer entrance, guys. Anyone seen it? Ah, oh, it's probably this right here with these guys. Hello. Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! 
The Rakuls are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate. Not while the Rakuls are so near. The voice actor for this guy, while I recognize his voice as well, does not suit the voice of an old man. Hindar! Not to be confused with Gendar, character that we literally just got introduced with. They were like, they were just throwing names at the wall. Alright guys, we call this guy Hindar. It's like, are you sure? It's very similar to Gendar. Yes, go for it. Oh no, okay. We're gonna try and kill him. We'll, we'll try. Open the gate. I will kill the rat ghouls at the cost of all of my all of my medical supplies. You'd risk your life for a stranger? Let's go. You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. <sighs> it's Robin Atkin Downs. That's where I remember it from. That's the voice of Miller, dude. That's the voice of sweet Master Miller. Oh, they help. We got a dude helping us out. There you go. It's just one rat ghoul. What harm can he do? Oh, he died. You asked for this. And my other guy died. You can do it, Carth. There you go. Is he gonna get up? What did we just lose? He died. Oh, that was kind of. Mm. What? Um. Um. Oh, well, we kind of messed that up, didn't we? Uh, yeah, a horrible died. fate for poor Hendar. I warned him not to leave the safety of the village, but I couldn't open the gate. Not while the rat ghouls were so close. I had to protect the village, but enough of this grim talk. We must focus on the positive if we're to survive down here. How can I help you, Upworlder? I'm kind of on the verge of death here. Um, you got any? You got any food or medicine? Cause I'm about to die. <laughs> I'm Trellin from the Outcast Village. Trellin. It's my job to guard the gates and see they are locked to protect us from the rat ghouls. I am not going to be able to get. I'm not going to be able to get Miller out of my head. Uh, that is the. That is the action. This is, God damn it! No, wait a minute. No. Oh no! That's not Robin Atkin Downs. No, I think that's Cam Clark. Wait a minute, I'm getting confused. That's so ironic, by the way. That's that is so ironic. Hang on, I just need to quickly confirm this one. Who's your voice actor? Oh, that's so funny. Um what is your voice, please? <laughs> Oh, that's so silly. All right, let's have a look. Um, who voices? Who voices our lovely, lovely Truin? Yeah, it is Cam Clark. That is that is so ironic. The most recent, the most recent Metal Gear game that I played was was Twin Snakes, so that's why that voice was in my head, and I was going, "Oh yeah, that's the voice of Master Miller," and it, it, it yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, technically it is, um, in in Metal Gear Solid, but no, sorry, this is Liquid Snake, <laughs> Cam Clark, this is Liquid Snake. Um, it's been a little while since I played um, Peace Walker and Metal Gear Solid Five to hear Robin Atkin Downs actually doing. Um, actually doing Miller, so I, I messed that up. <laughs> but that's, that just goes to show, that just goes to show how good Cam Clark's Master Miller impersonation is. Liquid, it's you. What are you doing in this village looking like an old man? <laughs> I just guard the gates. Gendar is the leader of the village, Upworlder. You should speak to him if you have any questions. Liquid! Goodbye, Upworlder. <laughs> All right, we we cleared up my misconception with our with our voice actor mistake. How are you doing, Hester? You doing okay? I I did try. No, Hendar, no! <laughs> no, Hendar, no! We messed that up pretty badly, dude. I'm actually wondering if we can fucking. I wonder if we can even win. You know? Oh, there's Sith down here too. 
The Sith are obviously just fine against the Rackles. Meanwhile, we're getting our asses kicked. I'm curious to see if we can actually win this fight and, like, save him. I don't know where our autosave is. Taras Undercity. Where's our autosave? I wish our autosave had an hour ne mark next to it. Our, our autosave is... Taking us all the way to the beginning. What is happening right now? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Trying to loot our autosave. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Autosave bugged? Okay. The autosave just, uh... Starts the whole... Starts the whole thing. That's weird, right? I haven't watched this, by the way. I opted not to watch the the opening movie, so I don't I don't know what's coming, uh, or like being hinted at in that opening opening intro. Um, but there you go. I guess we're just here instead. Let's uh, let's rescue. Let's see if we can rescue Hendar. We'll we'll see if we can. I'm just curious. If not, we'll commit to our decision to uh, unfortunately lose him. Hey. You watch yourself. My name's Igear. My name's Igear. All right, I need to buy some shit from him. All right, we're gonna do this, and then we'll see if we can like save Hendar. Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! He'll never hurry, Hendar. Him. He's doomed. He will make it. Run, Hendar! Run! Open the gate. Uh, I, I can't. The mutants will kill him if you. And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all. No. You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make- I can't open the gate. Classic liquid snake. Open the gate. I will kill the rat ghouls. You'd risk your- Alright, let's do it. For you. Can we save him? Alright. Oh, I just realized I can pause to do sh- Oh, that's really cool. Pausing comes in handy then. Okay, fuck. Wish I knew that. All right, I gotta be—I can be smart about the whole pause thing then. Good. All right, in that case, frag grenade, and then I can switch to him, who is not even in combat. God damn it! Ready? Shit. Pause. Save him. Get him away. <laughs> My party member got killed, but it's okay because he's almost dead. Come on, get him, get him. Yes! We saved him! At the cost of our own dude's life. Well sure. done. Self-sacrifice. We did it! Now let me in. <laughs> I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hendar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. Okay, cool. You're not gonna thank me for what I did either? Okay. Uh, okay. I died for you. Alright then. That's fine. I swear Hendar's voice changed. <laughs> thank you for saving Hendar. You are braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. Is there something you need, Upworlder? You sound mighty young for, for a, a, a sprite fellow. I think I got poisoned or something. I look like I'm about to die. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm literally about to die. I barely made it out of that one alive. I didn't even get a thank you from the lady. <laughs> I just guard the gates. Gendar is the leader of the village, Upworlder. You should speak to him if you have any questions. Goddamn. Who, where, who am I? Where, where, what's going on? I love the, like, almost, like, <laughs> the, the weak facial animations. Just, sorry, where are we? Goodbye, Upworlder. Okay, risked my life for that. All right, I'm gonna go speak to the, <laughs> I'm gonna go speak to the healer so we don't have to waste med packs. I mean, I didn't get poisoned. Hendar did, but we just had to stand in the way. We just had to stand in front of him so we could live. I died so Hendar could live. Those rackles are no joke, man. I need like poison Rack resistance again. or something. Is there something else you need? Yes, please. Thank you. 
<laughs> Help me out. All right. Uh, that pause is really going to come in handy um, going forward. I'll, I'll slowly improve my combat abilities. So I really like that, being able to like pause and take a moment to think about what you need to do, which is, you know, very Dungeons and Dragons. And um, you can also queue up multiple abilities for your characters. Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is going to help me. Even the Bex won't help me. Oh, it's Mission. But I can't just leave him there. He, he's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? Something that I was thinking about in when we first met Mission that I've just like been able to go, you know, confirm with myself as a definite thing is this is the voice of Padme Amidala in the Clone Wars as well. <laughs> so we've got some, we've got a lot of familiar voices, which is actually really cool. Slow down, Mission. What's wrong? It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Are they Trandoshans? Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rat Ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, d I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. We'll, we'll get him. We've, uh, for those of you who have watched uh, Book of Boba Fett, Wookiees and Gamorreans, huh? They make an interesting pair. <laughs> I don't know for sure, but those Gamorreans like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. Big Z is such a cool nickname for Zalbar. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Nice. Everything literally just works out for the best. So we'll rescue Zalbar and get our entrance to the sewers in the same place. To the Volkar base. Nice! Mission's in our missions in our team. She's level three. Alright, uh journal. The search for Bustler. Mission has agreed to help you sneak into the Black Volcar base to recover the stolen swoop accelerator, but first she wants you to rescue her Wookiee friend, Zalbar, from the Gamorian slavers in the sewers. Another thing, by the way, is like something that I always this is another Star Wars name that I always just read differently. I would always pronounce it as Gamorian, not Gamorian. And What's funny about that is another pronunciation difference between people in different parts of the world is people will say Caribbean and Caribbean. And uh, down here, we pronounce it as Pirates of the Caribbean. So I read this as Gomorian. But, you know, in the game they say... Um, sorry, fucking, I'm getting confused now. Gamorian. I pronounce Pirates of the Caribbean, Gamorian. And there's, the game says Gamor Gamorian? like Caribbean it's kind of like the it's kind of like that in terms of pronunciation it depends where you are in the world but I'll try and get used to Gamorian <laughs> but I, I've always said Gamorian yeah yeah yes. yes what what yeah all right let's level people up um let's see what what is recommended Dexterity. I'm not sure, like, this is the thing, I'm, I want to build my own character into what I want, but then I'm not sure about the other characters yet, um, as to how to, like, level them up, what skills I should focus on for them, but I, I'll, I'll get more used to it as we go along, um, and I will try and have more of a variety in my characters, but we'll see how we go. Oh, you're much better than, much better than Karth. Great demolitions. I could have taken mission with me into all of those mine dismantle moments. Security is also six. Wow. Um, yeah, mission, mission's got it good. Let me give you demolitions, awareness, and computer usage. Oh. Ooh. Well, I guess if we do a remaining point... 
Uh, will it, will it, it won't disappear, will it? It'll just be there. Oh, yes, these will be saved. You may spend them the next time you gain a level. Yes. All right, we'll keep that there. Level up myself now. Uh, time for me to level up some of my things. I'm going to level up my treat injury and level up my persuade because I am just going to keep, because if everyone else has good demolition stuff in my, in my party, I can rely on them. I'm going to upload my awareness as well. Another feat. You've been granted the following feats this level. Sneak attack three. Awesome. Um, so we can add any one of these that we want. Well, sneak attack is maxed out. When the target can't respond to the attacker. Damn, that's awesome. Uh, scoundrel's luck. Alright, if it's in yellow, we can add it. If it's in red, we can't. Makes sense. Uh, two weapon fighting, which is actually something that we were doing. Might be a good idea for us to do... Two weapon fighting. Uh, caution, plus one skill point bonus to both demolitions and stealth. Empathy, a plus one skill to persuade awareness entry injury. Mm, that's actually quite good. A flurry ability is quite cool. I'm going to add empathy. Uh, and then. Okay. Looks good, guys. We got a squad of three now. We have more chance of survival. Yeah. Sure. Awesome. And then. Zalbar as well. So we'll be going into the sewers. Dude! Huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. This is why you're, you've got good demolition skill. Isn't that right? I'm gonna save my game here. After, after that one. Lovely. I'm gonna use your uh, demolition skill. Hell yeah. All right, this is cool. Something that I'll 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 learn is uh, being able to utilize our other characters for stuff with based on their skills. That's really neat. Who is this guy? Down by an escape help. pod. Help me, please. Oh no. I, I can feel it inside my skin. Something growing, like some kind of hideous disease. Uh. We, we can't help you, dude. No! No! Yeah. I can feel it! And... Wow, so, so gorgeous, so beautiful, so slimy. Lathered in baby oil. You'll never get me! Oops, I accidentally did damage to Karth. <laughs> you doing okay there, bud? What? What? Uh, you gotta heal yourself, buddy. Huh? You yes? Interesting. So we got a pod here. And our curiosity just got us in trouble. Because <laughs> we just got dudes turning into rackles left, right, and center. So we can place frag mines on the ground. It makes me wonder if it's a good idea to like, when you get in combat with an enemy, an enemy, put it down, run away, and just let them run over it or something. Alright, so we've got this. You there! Civilian! This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? I got Sith papers, bro. Just slowly, like, walking up to us. Like, I'm just here to kill you. Security papers? Oh. You're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? They should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost one patrol. We figure the rack ghouls got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. You're annoying me. Time to die. These dialogue options are hilarious. <laughs> oh, is that why you're down here? Search and rescue. I didn't think they'd send anyone. They were in the southern section of the Undercity when we lost contact. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die. That sounds weirdly aggressive. Yeah, sure. The commander won't be too happy if you come back empty-handed, right? Well, the same thing goes for us. Come on, patrol, let's get back to it. 
The sooner we get this search done, the sooner we can get out of this mutant infested hole. Move out! Off they go. There's rat ghouls over there. There's rat ghouls over there. <laughs> um, God damn it. Alright, so we need to... There's the escape pod. So interestingly enough, a destination is never, like, really... Ah, oh, you fuck. Nice. Okay, we can get them up from a distance. A destination is never, like, listed on the map, but we've got to find it. Rackle Fiend. Nice. All right, we're getting the advantage of getting sneak attacks on these guys because at the moment we've kind of been in a situation where rat ghouls are just literally right in front of us from battle. <laughs> so they, they get their grimy paws on us and do a bunch of damage to us. Mission seems rather distant. Maybe you should talk to her. It looks like we're right in front of the entrance. Hey there. What can I do for you? Really? You want to know about me? Nobody's ever really been interested in me before. What do you want to know? How did you and Zalba hook up? Big Z's my family, you know? My parents, well, I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. <laughs> Who'd want to pick a fight with a Wookiee? Hey, nobody said the Volkers were smart, but there were three of them. So, maybe they figured they could handle him. I don't know. Anyway, I don't like the Volkers at the best of times. And when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, Leave him alone, you core slimes! And charged right at them. Well, one of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. Damn. <laughs> Hey, I don't need a lecture from you. You ain't my mother. I knew what I was doing. Those Volkers didn't scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. And then ripped his arm off. <laughs> Are you kidding? Big Z ain't like Aww. that. He's just a big old softy inside. Of course, the Volkers didn't know that. He just wants his the food. Who screamed and ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was gonna rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. The Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him out. I keep telling Zalbar to brush those choppers of his, but he never listens. Just stay up when when he's speaking and you'll be fine. Anyway, I knew those Volkers would be back with friends, so I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? That's awesome. I love that. That's like a, a good, um, or a good duo. People are like, uh, oh, Twi'lek and a, and a Wookiee seems odd, but I think it's such a, such a fitting combo. I love their dynamic instantly. It, it works so well. He was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashyyyk. That's all I know, really. Kashyyyk? He doesn't like to talk about it. In case that's not how that's said. He's the strong, silent type. Doesn't much matter to me, though. I accept him for what he is, not what he was. He and Zalbar like to live in the present. I guess we also need to... I need to remind myself that this game came out before Episode 5. Um, when did this game... I think this game came out in 2000 and... I, I have two numbers in my head right now. 2001 or 2003? Um, 2001 or 2003? KOTOR release date? Um, because... We know it's referred to as Kashyyyk. 2003. Alright, so it came out... 2003. Three days after my birthday. Um, so it came out 2003. Um, and... Yeah, obviously we know that it's Kashyyyk. But... Old Republic is going to refer to it as Kashyyyk. You know, maybe they maybe they updated the pronunciation in-universe, you know. Thousands of years, they got to do that. <laughs> hey, what's that supposed to mean? You think I can't take care of myself? I've got street smarts. I know how to get by on my own. In fact, I look out for Zalbar more than he looks out for me, you know. 
Big Z is a little bit too gullible to make it alone on the mean streets of the lower city. I love that. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Like I used to tell my brother, fast talk and slick words don't get the job done. Yeah, so she's got a brother as well. My brother's a touchy subject, you know. It just so happens I don't really feel like talking about him right now. You're the one Nothing who brought it up. <laughs> Let's just get back to the business at hand, okay? Yes, we can do that. Uh, this looks like... Let me just quickly check out over here. Oh man, there's a lot of them. Can get that sneak opening. Oh, having three people is so much better, dude. Come on. Dude, having three is just making this a dream. Nice. You can get him, get him. Oh. Missing that sniper shot is pain. <laughs> Hell yeah, we're getting that XP though. Nice. Everything is like infinitely better now that we have three. Raiding corpses. Sith Soldier Corpse as well. Oh, some... Oh, dude, no. If we went this way first... A beam split. If we went this way first, Rat Cool Serum, we would have been able to give it to that dude by the escape pod. Damn. You've acquired a sample of Rat Ghoul Serum. This could be very valuable to the right people. Well, who knows? Maybe there'll be another option for us to, uh, to use it. A skeletal Corpse. What is that? A skeletal Corpse of what? Oh, God. Ah, oh, that's the sewer entrance. Hang on, what's over the other side? Maybe there's just two entrances to the sewers? Let's check out the other side. If <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing, okay. I'm getting confused when I see mission's name pop up, because I'm like, is it highlighting the mission? It's a unique name to have. Alright, let's go into the sewers. Let's rescue ourselves a Wookiee. We've made it to the sewers. Oh god! <laughs> Dude! Uh, I'm almost dead. And I'm dead. <laughs> My character dies so quickly! Why are you doing dialogue? Do combat, sir. Bruh. Shit. My character is constantly dying. Fucking Gamorian guards, man. Yeah? Sure. You got this, bud. I believe in you. Just a couple of med packs, you'll be right. There we go. Ready. Huh? I'm gonna buy more of these. Yes. Because everybody's getting fucked up. Yeah. These environments are great. Oh. All right. So if we put a frag mine. Pushing A while a mine is highlighted in your action menu will place a mine. You can also disable and recover enemy mines and add them to your inventory for later use. Put it down. Did it work? Down you go. Oh. Did it work? I don't think it worked. Because I still have three mines. Oh. Well, I tried. <laughs> okay. Now cast corpse. Antidote. Promised land journal. Ooh. Oh shit, we could give that to, um, so, what was her name? Selena? It didn't update anything. Hang on, let's have a look. Let's go to our inventory. Uh, new items, let's have a look. Missions Vibroblade. Promised Land Journal. This journal is a record of the long and difficult search to find the Promised Land. It contains many half-completed maps and cryptic notes, all attempting to decipher whether the legend is true or simply a child's fable. By itself, this journal does not contain enough information to solve the mystery, however, it could be a valuable piece of the puzzle. Interesting. That's cool. Oh yeah, what was this beam splitter? 
an upgrade item. Ah, cool. So it's an upgrade item. So we have found a promised land journal. I was wondering if we could give it to a specific character, but it looks like we might be able to find other other stuff. I get overwhelmed in combat with multiple enemies. Um, Oh, I only did one damage? What? Okay, hold on. I only did one. How'd you like that? Cut! How'd you like that? Cut! How'd you like that? I'm glad these guys are much weaker than rat than rat ghouls. <laughs> much weaker than rat ghouls. It is like because obviously this is an older game, so the the way that the combat is set up is uh much more like tactical than um, just being able to like rush in and just do it in like more of an action style. But I'm I'm adjusting. Uh huh. What? Mission I need ya. Just recover these mines. I don't see a point in disabling them when we can recover them instead. Ooh, who's in jail? You got anyone in jail right now? Glad we have a demolitions expert on the team. That energy shield leads to another section of the sewers. Oh, cool. The entrance to the Vulcar base is somewhere past there. I've got the codes to lower the shield, but we have to rescue Zalbar from those Gamorian slavers. Don't worry, we can come back after we find Big Z. Okay, so this door will take us to Vulcar base. Good to know. Sure. Um, this might end up just taking us back around to the main room, but this is over the other side. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> it's alright. Chris Draco will soon live up to legends. <laughs> he will be he will be a tough character. One of these days. One of these days. Ready? Yeah. There's a droid in here. Droid wreckage. Ah, another piece of the Promised Land journal. There you go. Rusted droid. Ooh, we have 12 repair parts. Our repair skill isn't good. Hold on one sec. Uh, I'm gonna switch to... Yes. Pretty sure repair is better on my guy. Um, repair. What's your skill? Repair is... Oh, three bonus plus one. Skirink is two. It's actually not that great. What about you? Oh. <laughs> uh, actually, I think you're, you've are you probably actually got the best chance here. Reactivate the droid. One repair part. The droid is now active. Okay. I want it to like come with us. But maybe it just has to be engaged in patrol mode. Six repair parts. Patrol mode engaged. Once you end this session, the droid will begin patrol and destroy enemy and en any enemies it encounters. Awesome. Um, I think that's fine. It's too expensive. To, it's too expensive to do like all the other bonus shit. So we just let it go in patrol mode. Look at that fucking thing. What a cool looking droid. Like a mini crab droid. That's cool. So that'll just patrol the area now. Does it have blasters, or is it a melee attacking droid? Who knows? It's not patrolling in the right place, that's for sure. Oh, there it is. It's with us. We got a droid- oh god. Crest Draco. When will you learn? <laughs> Gamorian Chief. Sure. My guys my guys are trying. They're doing their best. Good old good old Crest Draco, he's nailing it. Nice. Hmm. Look at this. This is one of those old style manual locks. No computer codes or nothing. The sewers is the only place you see one of these on terrace. You can't use conventional security spikes on these old locks. But don't worry. 
I've come across them before. I've rigged up a little device that should do the trick. No, oh, nice. <gasps> oh. You're a sight for sore eyes mission. I love that we can understand Wookie. I'm glad to see you too, Big Z. You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Zalbar, together forever. Who's that with you? These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I could never have got you out. Personally, like, I'm fine with being able to understand Wookie and, like, him having actual dialogue, but there's, like, there's something about a character that has a Wookiee partner that I really like where, you know, they talk to each other or they have dialogue and then that character, like, talks, like, can, like, speak for them and, like, their responses to them help you understand what they're saying. I actually, like, really like that about Han and Chewie's, like, relationship of how they talk where he just makes noises and based on how it sounds, you can kind of interpret what he means uh, and then, you know, Han will bring up stuff about it um like it's it's fine it's fine this way but it's it's very like obviously you know exactly what he's saying instead of it being like you know having mission relay it uh with her responses but it's uh it's cool i'm just glad that there's a wookie here <laughs> meanwhile that droid just be fucking up gamorians like in the background i was hearing him screaming <laughs> You know the language of my people? That is rare among your species. I am impressed. You can just imagine Chris Draco just going like... <laughs> we make battle of big pretend. You have saved me from a life of servitude and slavery. There is only one way I can ever repay you with such an act. You sure about I will swear that? a life debt to you. Think about it carefully. You better be sure about this. <laughs> I am sure, Mission, this is an issue of great importance to me. Because of our great physical strength, Wookiees are being used as slave labor on our own homeworld. They see us as brutes and animals to be exploited. Over the years, slavers have taken many of my people. We must always be on guard against raids against our villagers. When the Gamorreans captured me, I thought I was doomed to a life of servitude. I have been saved from such a fate, and the only way I can repay that is through a life debt. Big Z swearing a Wookiee life debt to you? Wow. This is major. Do you realize what it means? It means you're stuck with me. <laughs> um, this is also very interesting. He's very well spoken for a Wookiee. I can see why we can understand and it and it gives us what he's saying because it's hard to kind of have uh, mission just relay all of that in responses like I was just saying. But he's so well spoken, <laughs> and I find it so funny. He's just he's a very polite, soft Wookiee, um, and he's like, "Me and Mission are partners, but now I'm with you for life." You're in, um, in your life forever, whether you like it or not. And now Mission has to come along too. <laughs> Let me guess, it means I've got a walking carpet, uh, walking carpet following me for the rest of my days. Ouch! And it, this... Ugh! No! A life debt is the most solemn vow a Wookiee can make. It means he'll stay by your side for the rest of your life. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Zalbar will be with you. <laughs> In the presence of you all, I swear my life debt. Forever after, I will be by your side, Crest Dracor. May my vow be as strong as the roots of the great Rosha trees of Kashyyyk. Wow. Great Rosha trees of Kashyyyk. I wonder if uh, Chewbacca didn't have to do this to Han. <laughs> he was just like, fuck, man, we we, uh, we pretended to fight each other in a, in a jail pit, and, and then we broke out, and then I didn't even want to go with you, and then we're kind of partners now. For those of you who haven't seen the Solo movie, highly recommend it. It's it's such a fun it's such a fun movie. I love Solo a lot. I guess this means you're stuck with me too. <laughs> Wherever Big Z goes, I'm going. I almost lost him once. It's not gonna happen again. I'm glad to have you aboard, Mission. So, Why won't this nightmare end? My God. Happened to the Volker base. That was the deal, wasn't it? Don't worry. I know a back door into that scum den. I better come with you. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers out. I'm one of the only non-Volkers on Terrace who can get you past it. I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewers. Over to the northeast, if I remember right. I just hope the Rancor monster isn't still there. The Rancor in the sewers? There used to be a Rancor monster that made its nest in that part of the sewers. Pretty much eats anything it can get its claws on. That thing is huge! Luckily, rankers aren't too bright. 
I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. Do you have the ability to do stealth? <laughs> okay then, off we go. Like I said, somewhere to the southeast. Just look for the force shield and we'll know we're there. Zawa has joined your party. Remember, you can only have two party members with you at any time. The others will wait for you back at the apartment. You can switch party members using the party selection screen accessible by pressing A while on the map screen. This button is disabled in areas that are considered dangerous. Press A to go to the party selection screen. Um, level 4 scout, level 4 scoundrel, level 5 soldier. I want, I want these two. I'm going to take Zalbar and Mission with me. Karth, you're shady. You don't trust anyone. I'll get you to open up to me eventually, but go cool off in the apartment. I'm taking these two with me. Yeah. Nice. What? Wookie. Okay. Let's level this bad boy up. Uh, awareness, repair, and treat injury skills and demolitions. Okay. Let's bump that up. Let's bump that up. Bump that up. All right, what can we give you? You're like a melee guy, okay. Implant. The use of level two cybernetic implants. Improved power attack. It's also got rapid shot. Weapon proficiency. Uncanny dodge. Toughness. Ooh. This bonus is retroactive for levels previously gained. That's a, such a good ability that it's like, no matter how late you get it, it will still pay off. That's awesome. Um, I might allow him to do... Ooh, I don't know. Ooh, I might give him conditioning. Let's give him conditioning. Level up mission as well. Six points. Treat injury. Security. Awareness. Still. There you go. Perfect. Sneak attack number three. Got critical strike. I'm not like I'll I'll learn to I'll, as I like learn and figure out abilities. I'll it'll be much better. It recommends gearhead. What is gearhead? I'll take that. I feel like going recommended for like some of the other characters is does kind of work out a little bit in my favor because it's recommended based on their classes to kind of make them the best in that in that class I suppose um, Zalbar you don't even have any weapons dude so let's 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 change that uh, I'm gonna give him weapons give you a vibro blade yeah stealth field generator Oh, I think that unequipped. Oh, he can't. Oh, it's in red. That's why he can't have it. Stealth field generator. <laughs> Should we do Wookie stealth? Um, adrenaline. Ah, you've both got stealth. Um, I think that. Hmm. I have a feeling that Karth might have that stealth generator as well. Nice. No, Karth might have that stealth generator. I've forgotten if... Um... Let's do party selection just for a sec. And then let's see what you've got. No, it unequipped. It unequipped it. Okay. Um, never mind then. Party selection. Get out of here. Okay. Hell yeah. Alright, we've rescued... Rescued Zalbar. Big Z. Oh, it's locked. No problem. Can I get in? Got it. Nice. Ooh, we've got Parzak cards. Zalbar's Bowcaster. Oh my god. What? You have a Bowcaster. Let me give it to you. You don't you don't need swords. I mean you can if you want. It's up to you. Dude, you've got you've got a named weapon. 
We've got a bowcaster. Salvar's personal bowcaster has made modifications to it over the years, but it still tightly conforms to the traditions of his people. Hell yeah, man. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> We're playing as a Wookiee now, dude. Oh, it's locked. It's a slow, brutish boy. Doors busted. Nice. Alright, and then this is... I think we've been in this room. This is the circular room, isn't it? Oh, hang on. I think this is slightly different to a room that we've been in before. Oh, because there's fucking Rackles in here. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. Watch Crest die again. Oh, he's actually... He's doing okay. <gasps> he didn't die in an encounter. We're doing good. Oh god. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we can be proud of my own character for not dying for a change. He did it. Oh my god. Hang on, where are we on the map? My god. Oh, we're all the way over that side. And we just need to be there, because that's the force field. Right. Damn, this place is huge. Alright, we're getting we're getting distracted. I thought it was gonna be much smaller than it's turned out to be. This place is quite massive. I feel like we'll need to kind of fully explore the sewers to maybe get like the promised land, more like promised land journals. Uh, to kind of fill that out. Because so, we got we got two so far. Um, we've got a Puzzuck side deck. Promised land journal, we've got two. And it is a quest item, there you go. Hey, Big Z. We gotta do something about your breath. I didn't want to say anything, but it's bad. Worse than usual, which is hard to believe. In fact, now that I think about it, your breath has been pretty rancid ever since we rescued you from those Gamorian slavers. What'd they feed you, buddy? They didn't. I wasn't their guest, Mission. I was a prisoner. I don't think they cared much what happened to me. No. Oh. This guy needs his food. Get this guy a meal. Oh, Zalbar, that's terrible. I know how grouchy you get if you don't get your eight square meals a day. I'm amazed you didn't pass out from hunger. <laughs> I did manage to take a chunk out of the arm of a guard that wandered too close to my cage, but it tasted awful, so I spit it out. That explains the breath. Ew! <laughs> no wonder your breath is so bad, Big Z. Gamorians smell like Bantha Poodoo. We'll have to pick you up a toothbrush to clean that stench out of your choppers. <laughs> Wookies do not brush their teeth, Mission. It, it just isn't done. What humiliation will you use on me next? A comb? <sighs> okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. I'll take care of it as soon as I can, Mission. For now, let's stay focused on the task at hand. <laughs> Salbar, you kind of smell like a bantha. God damn it. I love that there's just like character interactions that happen like that as well. Just, you know, with having certain companions together. That's really, that's really neat. You won't be able to get that computer to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper codes. Lucky for you, I've got them. I Thank picked you. them off the pocket of a black Volker who had a little too much to drink in the cantina one night. Here, let me get that energy field down for you. Nice, cool. Alright, we have our entrance to the upper sewers, which is how we'll get through to the Black Volcar base. Uh, but I think with that one, guys, we've got a, this is a good opportunity for us to bring this episode of Knights of the Old Republic to a close. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We're learning the, the gameplay systems, improving uh, a little bit. Crest Dracor is dying all of the time, letting the team down, but he will get stronger. We have a, a Wookiee and a Twi'lek on our team, which is just so cool. Uh, I'm very excited to see how these character interactions are gonna are gonna build over time. And another another thing that's I guess really great is uh, 
like similar with Mass Effect is it adds so much re replayability with whichever characters you choose to take and learning their stories and getting like dialogue out of them and stuff so obviously I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with and pick my favorites you know and we'll we'll roll with them and we'll try and get to know our squad mates that we get over time I'm very excited for that um, but yeah this this uh, dynamic duo is uh, is a lot of fun so uh, thank you so much for watching I can't wait to play more and I'll see you next time.